Along today's Ask the Doctor segment is all about colon cancer. I'm joined by uh, Dr. Mark Parker, a colorectal surgeon from Brookwood Baptist Medical Center, to take your calls. If you have a, a question about colon cancer, give us a call right now, 741-9272. And while those calls are coming in, uh, let's just start with uh, the general question. Who needs to be worried about colon cancer? Right. And so... Our mindset and our passion in what we do is to get everyone screened. So everyone at age 50, what we like to say is if you have a behind and you're older than 50, then you're behind schedule. <laughs> Go get one. Go don't, get a screen. Just don't put it off. That's right. Uh, we've, I've had mine. <laughs> Amen. And it's just something you have to do, and there is a certain uh, relief in knowing everything's good. That's right. And, and it's, it's the number one symptom of colon cancer is none. Uh, what we really like harp on even more so on our male population is don't blow off a symptom that you might think is say a hemorrhoid when in reality any bleeding or any just vague abdominal symptoms should always be thoroughly and aggressively worked up. Mm -hmm. So don't just explain it away. Don't just Get explain it, it away. Out. We've got our first caller right now, uh, Dr. Parker. Mary, uh, your question for the doctor. Good morning. How are y'all Good today? morning. Good morning. Uh, I was wanting to know, I have a, a pain, like it comes and goes, but it's in the left bottom side of my stomach. Do you think that has anything to do with the colon cancer? Well, you know, Mary, most of the time, um, these things are not cancer. What we're trying to find is the people that, that have something bad, but we do a lot of evaluation on people like you to prove that it's not cancer. And so having a pain is what I say is your body's way of letting you know something is wrong and something needs to be thoroughly looked at. So odds are in your favor that it's not a cancer, but it could be something else in the colon. And your starting point would be with your primary care doctor or your uh, OBGYN, your female doctor, and she can get you to the right um, gastroenterologist or colorectal surgeon to get a colonoscopy done. All right. Our next caller is Jackie. Jackie, your question for the doctor. Yes, my question is, if you're bleeding from your rectum, is that a sign of colon cancer? Now, Jackie, that's, that's an awesome question that we love because all bleeding has to be deemed cancer until proven otherwise. Again, not to scare you, it's probably not, but until we look, until someone does a colonoscopy, we have to assume the worst because if we miss a cancer, then we can't, we can't get you back. But if we, if we prove that it's not a cancer, maybe it's just a hemorrhoid or something else going on, then you sleep comfortable that night and you live the next five years knowing you're okay. So that's good news. We got one more caller very quickly, sure. Dr. Kathy. What's your question? Uh, yes, my husband was uh, diagnosed with colon cancer. We found out a month before he died mm -hmm. that he had it. But I was wondering, my son is 34. Could it be hereditary? Very good question. And, and the main, um, what we like to say about um, uh, early cancers or cancers, it sounds like your husband was, was, was young and I'm sorry you've had to deal with that. Um, but what a great story to tell because you're gonna save some lives by doing what you just did. You're, you're only 5% of cancers are hereditary uh, when it comes down to the colon cancer. However, um, the age for your son and for his siblings has now changed. It needs to be 10 years younger than when your husband was uh, diagnosed. Okay, so keep that in mind. Absolutely. Doc, thanks for being Thank with you. us. Sorry we're out of